If you've been on the channel for more than two seconds, you know I love K.J. Osborne, 2020 fifth round pick out of the U. That's just the U being the U. Formerly a Buffalo, catching piss missiles from Tyree Jackson. And K.J. has worked his way up, weathered the storm through a very tough rookie season, uh, and settled into a, a very nice role as a wide receiver three behind Thielen and Jefferson. And this year with Thielen gone, uh, he did have a big opportunity to be that wide receiver two. But then the Vikings drafted Jordan Addison. But you you, so you would think that you know, KJ is like, I finally got my opportunity and they snatched away from me. Nah, no, no, no. Like if you know KJ, if you follow him on social media, he's very positive. He's very, he's very is what it is sort of deal. And you, you can't control the things you can't control. So don't sweat over him. And he's the type of guy and he's not going to ostracize Jordan Addison like you've seen throughout the league. I mean, sometimes when a player, uh, when, when a player is drafted that plays the same position as a veteran, it's just like, give him the cold shoulder. We saw it with Tannehill and Malik Willis. So of course we saw with, saw with Rogers and Favre. Uh, so it, you wouldn't have really blamed KJ to be like, Hmm, you know, this is my time. The kid's going to have to figure it out for himself. But now, uh, of course, K.J. Osborne, team first, a true leader, uh, is not going to uh, stand by and let that happen. So this is from uh, Andrew Kramer over at the Star Tribune. K.J., blah, 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 Thielen, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the Vikings gave Osborne a new reality by using a first-round pick on Jordan Addison, who had Coach Kevin O'Connell called a day-one starter and the team's draft room following the pick. Hmm. Uh, Osborne found himself mimicking Thielen another way. He said he texted Addison right away after the selection. After all, that's what Thielen did to welcome Osborne as a 2020 fifth round pick. Because, I mean, if you were in Thielen's spot back in 2020, so Jefferson comes in as a first round pick, and then KJ comes in as a fifth round pick. Okay, so now they're working to replace me, uh, bringing in these two young guys. But I'm sure Thielen texted Jefferson. Uh, Thielen uh, texted KJ uh, as well. And now KJ is just paying it forward. So respect to the pride of Detroit Lakes. Uh, letting him know anything he needs, I'll help him, said Osborne, who turns 26 on June 10th. Uh, it's weird. I'm one of the older guys in the room. I'm going on year four, uh, but I still feel like the vet, which is crazy. Uh, I think I'm a natural leader, and that's something I've embraced and am comfortable with. And it, it, it is odd where, you know, KJ uh, and Jefferson were in the same draft class, except KJ is like two and a half years older than Jefferson. But, of course, that's what happens when uh, you're in college for a number of seasons like uh, KJ was, and then uh, Jefferson was a three and done. It continues. Uh, it's not just the draft, he said. It's the NFL. They're always looking to replace you. To me, it's about respect, man. I want to earn my respect. I was a fifth-round pick. I was a two-star recruit. I came from the, the MAC. Uh, if they MAC before the U. Uh, if they draft someone, uh, didn't draft somebody, I came from the MAC. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to prove myself. And I love that attitude where when – well, anything in life, when people get entitled, that's when you get complacent, that's when you get sloppy, and that's when you get knocked off, man. So that's when you get replaced. So you got to come in with that two-star recruit mentality. That's exactly what Jefferson has as well. Because remember, he was a two-star recruit uh, coming out of Louisiana and signing up with LSU. Uh, receivers coach Keenan McCardle uh, said he asked Osborne, who didn't have an NFL catch until the 2021 season, uh, second year, to share experience. That includes game-winning touchdown catches and his first two first 200-yard two games against the Colts. Again, that party started on the comeback as well as the Bears to close last season. Uh, even though you're competing against a number one draft pick, uh, you as a pro has to teach him and bring him along right now, McArdle said. Uh, he has the wherewithal and ability to lead the way, bring Addison along as well as be a successful playmaker for us, and that's what I love about him. And KJ, I mean, KJ is all about the team. Or it, it, It's almost like young – it almost helps that he's been through a lot, you know, being very lightly regarded uh, coming out of high school and then going to the Mac in Buffalo and then going to the U for a season, being a fifth round pick. So it actually benefits him that he has a good worldview and he's very mature. And also, I think that he sees that with Jefferson, with Addison, with TJ, with him, uh, this offense is going to be legit, man. And that's the best way to get everyone paid and taken care of. And KJ is in a contract year. So whether he gets paid here probably not likely or somewhere else, uh, you know, the tide raises all boats. So KJ helping Addison, uh, Addison helping KJ, all, all that stuff. It, it's uh, JJ helping everyone. Uh, it's going to go a long way. And this offense is going to be beautiful. And it's just team first attitudes like this, which I love. And it's something that uh, uh, Kevin O'Connell and Kwesi Dofa have fostered here. And it's great for the culture. And I absolutely adore it.
KJ is one of my favorite guys, man. Uh, but that's it. Uh, your thoughts are thoughts. KJ Osborne welcomes Addison. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once both the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.